In today's episode, we will continue our ongoing discussion on illusions and deceptions in the modern world. Specifically, we will explore mass illusion and the problems it has created for us. Because we prefer to believe only what we want to believe on the individual level, what manifestations have such self-deception created for us on the collective scale? As revealed to us through various expressions in the art of cinema, we will reveal one of the greatest underlying mass illusions of our time. My guest today is Robot. Hi, Robot here. All right, let's get started. All right, start the show. Okay, like the last few episodes, you keep talking about all these illusions in the world. What, what, what's the point of all these illusions? Why? Why do they do it? Maybe you're asking, why are there mass illusions in our world? What do all these lies, deceptions, and illusions, what do they accomplish? There is a point to it all. First, Manipulation by the powerful is essential because it protects the oligarchy. Uh, what is the oligarchy? An oligarchy is a power structure in which power rests in a small number of people whose characteristics may include nobility, fame, wealth, education, corporate control, religious control, political, or military control. Basically, an oligarchy results in a society ruled by the wealthy power elite at the tops of these institutions and establishments who are able to dictate control over how everything is conducted. In theory, this could work, but in practice today, an ethos of greed extends in all institutions to protect the excess wealth of the oligarchy. Instead of a balanced distribution in any way, wealth is vacuumed from the bottom up to the top as much as possible to the extent that the system can still operate. Today, extreme inequality has risen to an all-time high, with the wealthy becoming wealthier and the poor becoming poor. The problem has grown exponentially to obscene levels. According to Oxfam, currently the world's richest 1% have inflated their wealth to more than twice as much as 6.9 billion people. And so there is a great injustice in how our systems operate. They are under the guise to serve and protect us, but they only benefit a few in how they currently function. And this injustice is maintained through careful manipulation, lies, and illusions. Sucks, and it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Why does this occur, that inequality grows, granting greater powers to the oligarchy? This occurs because our modern society has an unhealthy attitude towards money and material wealth. Subconsciously, individuals believe that money is the most important thing in life. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich! We are a species that places money as more valuable than human life and the planet itself. We suffer from money worship disorder, and it has created a mass behavioral complex that everyone on the planet is affected by. We deceive ourselves into believing that money and materialism will bring us true happiness. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Because we worship money, it's no wonder that our institutions have become a mirror reflection of that attitude and belief. So we have an overall system in which people and most human organizations have all become greed empires competing to expand and protect wealth just like everyone else. This is the oligarchy. It's likely you've heard the term in your life of trickle-down economics. That in itself is an effective illusion by the oligarchy because it's really the complete opposite of that. It's actually a trickle-up as much as possible economic system. What usually happens is it results in a power structure where those that are not the powerful elite, which is the 99% of everyone, 
are underrepresented, limited in self-governing power, and restricted from altering society or bettering the lives of themselves and others through meaningful choices that we would be able to make if we lived in a true democracy. You see, much of politics is a manipulation to protect power, to protect the power of the oligarch. By keeping us behind the veil, divided and confused, we are manipulated by politicians and political parties to make choices between one or two limited and often meaningless choices. We don't get to vote on fixing the individual issues that are important, but instead we have to vote on one or two political parties whose selected official claims to want to fix the problems that we need fixing by opposing the position of the other party's selected official. The conflict results in this tribal sports mentality of one side versus the other side, and even when a choice is made to fix a particular issue, the issue ends up going unresolved in the end because the opposing party resists the change needed to fix the issue when the issue gets to the governing bodies. And so we are led to believe and feel that we are incapable of governing ourselves effectively due to our tribal conflicts. However, that is all an illusion itself. For what we can't see is, the whole system is functioning exactly like the oligarchy wants it to. In this way, meaningful choices that would bring about positive change for people on the planet are always negated. And that means that the financial wealth of the oligarchy systems are protected. Perhaps you've heard the saying, look at who benefits from the situation. Well, the oligarchy always benefits. All of this just to hold on to some monies? While we run around fighting in the dirt, throwing mud at each other, confused and manipulated into arguing over trivial, petty, nonsense, minor problems that don't really matter, the oligarchy are the ones that always benefit from this. So knowing this, that leads us to the next question. How is this oligarchy achieved and maintained without all of us realizing it yet? This is the role of the master manipulators. The most powerful manipulators acting against us want us divided against each other and always in a state of confusion. Division and confusion allows them to continue to profit from our ignorance and keeps us from realizing the great illusion that they cast. Our division and confusion, usually maintained through media and politics, keeps us from seeing beyond the veil of illusion. Be most cautious of those who cause us to hate and despise each other. They, and those in the media that work for them, are working to benefit themselves in power and work together to maintain the elite oligarchy. They know the magic formula to maintain the oligarchy's power. It is a spell they have cast on the masses for generations that keeps them conditioned to never challenge the presence of the oligarchy. What is this spell? The spell is division energy. When we are turned against each other, we are not then turned against them. They know that if we are united, then we can be united against them. And so if we are united in what we want, then we are a threat. If we are united in what we want, then we are united to replace those in power with someone better suited to serve our true needs and the true needs of the planet at this time. And that is why division energy is necessary for them to generate in our minds. Mm, this sounds like a conspiracy theory. I understand how it might sound that way, but it's actually not. It's actually just business as usual. And what's really going to cook your noodle is, much of this happens on a subconscious level. Monsters from the subconscious. Now, there are a lot of conspiracy theories, and I'm sure you've likely heard some of them. Some of them, perhaps, are innocuous but many of them are dangerous because they are manipulations, lies, and deceptions as well. There are many manufactured conspiracy theories that seek to divide us or cause us to despise and distrust our institutions. These conspiracy theories actually weaken the institutions that should be out to protect and serve us. They weaken them to protect the oligarchy. They may need to weaken an institution if the institution serves us too well and then threatens the power of the oligarchy. However, there has always been one true conspiracy, and it has been employed on us for millennia. Huh? Th there has? Oh, huh. What is it? You've probably heard it before. It's called Divide and Conquer. It has always been employed on us because it always works. 
You see, all other conspiracy theories that divide us and cause us to hate each other only serve to maintain the oligarchy, and that's exactly what they want. In this way, many conspiracy theories are manufactured illusions themselves that serve to maintain the oligarchy. And conspiracy theories work well because people are easy to influence when they are influenced by their preferences, as I explained in the previous video. You might be asking, why does divide and conquer work so well? Why does divide and conquer always work? Why does divide and conquer work so well? You see, there has always been a weakness in man, a darker nature in the individual that can be exploited to turn us against each other. This is the master manipulation that the worst supervillains in real life employ. Fear, blame, and hate. You see, the spell they cast is fear. Our reaction to fear is blame. And the eventual result is hate. When we hate each other, we are divided against each other. And when we are divided in hate, blame, and fear, the oligarchy feels shielded as they are no longer being challenged directly. And when we are divided in hate, blame, and fear, the power of the oligarchy is protected and can be maintained. But how can I tell which is my real foe? Divide et impera stretches throughout history. Utilized by Roman ruler Julius Caesar and Napoleon, it was described by Sun Tzu in the art of war, possibly as early as 221 BCE. Divide and conquer has been used by nations throughout history to divide power of opposing forces. Forces both outside of a nation and forces within the population of a nation itself. Through this ever-effective technique of manipulation called divide and conquer, the power of the oligarchy has always been protected and maintained. It keeps them focused on something. The strong take it from the weak every time. And the rest of them focus their anger on the ones who take it and not on the guards or the medical staff. It does work for us. It works for us. So why can't we change that then? I mean, it seems simple. So why can't we change that? As I said before, our systems are merely a mirror reflection of who we are as individuals. Both rich and poor alike, we worship money. So subconsciously, we manifest what we are. Our systems are a manifestation of who we are. Rather than focusing on correcting the flaws of inequality in the system that is, we rather focus our energy on becoming wealthy just like the oligarchy. This is where human concentration is really going. And so, nothing fundamentally changes in one of our greatest problems. What we see in the world around us is just a reflection of what is inside of us. So until this underlying confusion of our society is recognized, we will not be able to make real progress towards its eventual improvement. We can't enact positive change yet because anything and anyone can be bought out for money because we collectively worship money. Money is our God. We don't believe in God to save us from our problems. We believe in our money to save us. And this is a great false belief that we deceive ourselves with. This is one of our greatest illusions. And from an objective look at it, the problems of the oligarchy today exist just as much inside of all of us as they do externally from us. Just as much as the powerful deceive us, we also self-deceive. So, to answer the question, what's the point of all the illusions in the world? The point is to cast an illusion in our minds that protects the oligarchy. The oligarchy exists in its current harmful state because of our collective toxic subconscious projection of our valuing of money over all other things, including people and the planet. All of this just to hold on to some monies? You just watched part one of four for this episode. You can continue to the next part by clicking the top thumbnail. Also, you can watch the full length episode right now by subscribing to my mailing list at www.tysonxix.com. By subscribing, you get email notifications when videos are released.